Leafoot fractures. These are fracture patterns described typically for mid-face by Rene Leafoot in 1901. These fracture lines are typically generated by low impact forces and they collectively constitutes over 20% of skull fractures. Classically they are bilateral fractures. However, variations are very common due to high impact forces. Leafoot 1 fracture which is also known as Guerin fracture or a floating maxilla or low level leafoot fracture. Fracture line emanates apical to maxillary teeth involving lower one third of nasal septum and lateral wall of anterior nasal aperture. Fracture line then runs laterally along the lateral wall of maxillary sinus below the zygomatico maxillary buttress extends posteriorly behind tuberosity and fracturing the lower one third of pterygoid plates. Pull of medial and lateral pterygoid muscles contribute to displacement of fragment in posterior and inferior direction. Coming on to leafwood two fractures, which are also known as pyramidal fracture. The fracture line starts from the bridge of nose involving frontonasal and frontomaxillary sutures, slanting downwards involving the medial orbital wall and lacrimal bone. Fracture line then extends to infraorbital rim and lateral to infraorbital foramina, fracturing the zygomatico maxillary buttress, posterolateral wall of maxillary sinus, and finally terminating at the middle third of pterygoid plates. Leafwood 3 fractures, which are also known as suprazygomatic fracture or craniofacial disjunction or a high horizontal fracture. Fracture line starts from nasal bridge involving the ethmoid and nasal bones, frontonasal and frontomaxillary sutures, and extends laterally, passing through the superior orbital fissure. It then involves the greater wing of sphenoid bones frontozygomatic sutures and the zygomatic arches finally terminating at the superior one-third of pterygoid plates.